In order to synchronize your property list from Appfolio into Z-Inspector, we first need to create a custom unit directory report in Appfolio, and then we need to manually import that report once to set everything up, and from there we can proceed to use the scheduled reports feature in Appfolio to send us that report every day. So the first step is to go into Appfolio and create that custom unit directory report. We'll go to Reports, and then we'll scroll down to the unit directory. So here for the unit directory report, you want to set it to show all active units. And for the columns, we need everything associated with the property and the unit. We definitely need the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. An important one is the unit type, which will allow us to detect if it is a single family or multifamily home. So once we've checked all the boxes here, we will click Update to create the report. Now just to double check here, we want to make sure it is grouped by property. That's the default, but we just want to make sure. Okay, so the first thing we need to do now is to save this custom unit directory report, and we'll name it ZNSync. So now we have this custom unit directory report and we will need to download it one time. So we'll go to actions and click export as CSV. Now an important subtlety here is that depending on your browser configuration, Microsoft Excel or something like that may try to automatically open the CSV file. We definitely do not want that as this can change the internal format of the file and then Z-Inspector can't read it. So we want to make sure it downloads to the computer and just want to be sure we don't open it. Next, we'll need to manually import the custom report we just created one time into Z-Inspector. So we'll go into Z-Inspector and go to Settings, then Admin Settings, and click on Accounting Software Integration. We'll select AF for Appfolio from the dropdown, and click Import slash Sync ID here. And we'll first need to do the manual import, so we'll click on this link here. So here we'll see that the format is already set to Appfolio, and we'll choose the file we just downloaded. Now here you'll want to pick all of your default areas for single family homes. The number of bedrooms and bathrooms will be coming from that report we just created in Appfolio. In Z-Inspector it's easier to add areas than it is to delete them. So don't add things like basement or patio or things like that unless really all of your units or homes have that. Basically you want to keep these default areas to the minimum that's applicable to most or all of your properties. And again we don't need the bedrooms and bathrooms here because we'll be getting that information from Appfolio automatically. Now here you'll choose your default areas for your multifamily homes. There will likely be fewer areas for the multifamily homes because you generally don't have things like a laundry room or something like that in a multifamily unit. However, if it is applicable to you, then of course you'll want to include that. As with the single family homes, we will get the bedrooms and bathrooms for the multifamily units from Appfolio. Here you can select Archive if not in File. You'll probably leave this unchecked and maybe occasionally have to archive a property in Z-Inspector if you're no longer managing it or have removed it from Appfolio for any other reason. Here you can select how you want your properties named in Z-Inspector. These here are Appfolio characteristics, so it could be the property address, the unit name, or whichever will work best for you. And for the multifamily units, you have different options here. For example, this one is the property name, then the word unit, and then the unit name. But if you already spell out unit in the property name in Appfolio, then you wouldn't want this one because it would say unit twice. So then you just pick the one here that says property name, unit name, but again, it's whatever works best for you. So now we'll click preview and we'll see how many units are to be added and how many units are already in sync. I've already done this a few times, so you can see here I have a lot in sync already. So that means I have the right naming convention because it found my existing properties. If you are already a long-term Z-Inspector user and a lot of things are out of sync when you click preview, then you might want to try to pick a different naming convention to try to get as many properties matched up as possible. It won't be 100%, but that's okay. We have a great merge tool that makes it very quick to clean up the list after the fact. So now I'll simply click import 
which may take a moment depending on how many properties you are matching up. Once the properties have been created successfully, you'll have all the properties in Z Inspector and be ready to start doing inspections. But to actually get the sync ready, we have a few more steps. We need to create that scheduled report in Appfolio, so we'll copy this email address here. Then we'll go back to Appfolio and go to Scheduled Reports and click on New Scheduled Report. I'll type in Z in Sync. I'll choose the special report I just created and make sure it is in CSV format. Here I'll paste in that email address that I copied from Z Inspector. You'll need to type something into the message here. And then the last key thing here is that I want the frequency to be set to daily, and then I'll click Save. And now Appfolio will send this report to this custom email address every day to keep your properties synced. Now the last thing we need to do is actually enable the sync. So we'll go back to the accounting software integration page in Z Inspector and click OK. So now we've already done this manual upload here. I can check the naming options here, but we already set this up so we can just verify that and it looks good and now we'll click enable here. That is going to allow Z Inspector to process that daily scheduled report email when it comes in and keep everything synced up. If you do need to use the merge tool, you can find that support video at support.zinspector.com. And if you have any questions at all, please just let us know.